in a vision battle, uh, even with a gem on your side. Okay, well, final pick of Laguna Blades. Uh, going to mean that it's going to be a very, very tricky lane for anyone to come in and defend on their own. Queen of Pain almost certainly is going to need to do something fairly soon, maybe some kind of rotation with the supports on their side and top lane. Seal Kid coming in now with Jonas and Fan, who has got the Tranquil, so we'll be able to close the gap onto the Batrider if they find a concussive shot. Seedoy uh, playing oh, fairly safe. Scattered the... Oh, mid lane. Oh, first blood, though. Queen of Pain, there's your Sonic Wave. Minutes in, but I want to look at the net worth between these two. Yeah, it's one and a half K difference, six and a half minutes in. Lim, uh, with the help of uh, various other members of his team, he's absolutely dominating this lane. And now TP's down to the bottom. There's your charge onto Illidan, and well, I think Illidan, even with the living armor, can he get out enough damage? He gets out the Laguna Blade, but it's just not enough against this level eight Queen of Pain before the seven minutes marks. Top yeah, lane, though. That's, that's nice also. See you, Bat Rider, now it's his turn. Little come find the initiation with the slow and the stun. That should be enough to get in range for the follow up. Uh, hands can. Yeah, Planet kind of cool. This guys really well. Not something you'd normally expect to come into play this early on. Skin may need to get this charge on. Doesn't look like it. Looks like Illidan may find his first kill. The Laguna and everything for it. But this opens up the Queen of Pain. There's nothing really to control her apart from an overgrowth, which may be enough. Skyrath gets the silence on Illidan with a bl blink on your axe. Illidan going to get slowed down. Caught by the call. He's going to get dumped. That's one or two kills going the way of NIP, and the turnaround is very, very real here. They don't get the Ogre, but they get the bigger prize, which is, once again, your Lina. Yeah, killing the Lina and a support to go 8-2 to two on the board, and NIP, they're going to put some pressure onto this tower, and, of course, with a troll, found a couple of the members of Asus that are still alive, Cedoy and G. And, well, G, the Shadow Fiend, working towards that mechanism, but if you compare him... To what the Queen of Pain's got at this point. It's not pretty. 6.4k coming up on the Queen of Pain. And while it might be even worse now, Hansken thinking about charging in as the Shadow Fiend. He's going to net the strike. Cedo is there. Follow up. Yes, there's the blink. There's the call onto 2G getting sucked in as well. Living Armor helping him out. He pops the Requiem of Souls, but there's no one about. It tickles Axe on the backside. There's going to be a Drag Slave and a nice raise, in fact. Does help G get the kill there in return. That was important kill to get here. I mean, Aces need to get something. The only kill they'd gotten before that was just the, uh, the the single kill on the Spirit Breaker at the, the off lane, where they committed like everything, including a Laguna. So getting a kill next, although Axe does still have his blink, is still in a good position. Illidan now going to run to hands, can charge to start things off with a silence, and Illidan in some trouble. They've even rotated an error. Error saying, I don't need to farm. We're just dominating this game. I'm just going to rotate around the map and get kills with my team. This is this is looking ugly for Aces Paul early on. This is one of the big. Yeah, he's just need a big team fight. Maybe they can find that with an overgrowth into a Requiem. Uh, but Illidan and Storm Rage at the moment getting charged by Handscan. There's the follow up of Error and Limp. Nice light strike array. They're cancelling the charge. Maybe FNG can turn this one round. Laguna Blade onto Handscan, followed by the overgrowth, holding down the co op and the Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker has gone down. Limp's going to be able to blink away. And the Aces, they don't have anything in their arsenal to chase that one down. But they find a kill on the Spirit Breaker. And at this point, I think Aces will be happy with any kind of kill that they can get. Yeah, these three can get kills on pretty much anyone on the map if they get that Blink Lasso into a Laguna Blade, Fire Blast, there's a lot of chains done, there's a lot of kill potential here. They've got to find it though, they get scouted, this is not good for them, uh oh. I see you there with the Lasso onto hands. Ken G gets a lot of damage down onto Axe and does bring him down. FNG with the overgrowth. It is a nice one. Catching out four. There's going to be a buyback from Axe. Limp actually gets taken down. This is a big fight so far for Aces. Oh, they do lose the Shadow Fiend and the Lina. But they did take down the Quop and the Axe. But if they lose anything more, it is going to be NIP coming out on top. And, well, Error does manage to find a double kill as he picks off the Ogre. But uh, NIP, they did buy back. Axe trying to get okay. himself back into that fight as soon as he could. And uh, I guess on the plus side, NIP, on top of that, they're going to get Roshan. So, uh, yeah, another decent fight for NIP, really. It was decent, but as far as Aces Polo go, they had to kill on Queen of Pain and Axe. I don't think they were ever going to stop this Rosh happening anyway. So if you're Aces Polo, you'll take that. You'll... Uh, You'll look at things right now and be like, well... Mage and this top lane at the moment. And with the backup of Illidan and Lil now, both smoked up. They could, If they find the killer on the Queen of Pain, and they might do, they've managed to find the Lasso into the Light Strike Array. There's a charge coming in from Spirit Breaker, but he's halfway across the map. He's not going to be able to get in time. A limp should tick down here to the Undershadows. Charges tries to bottle through it, but is not going to be lucky enough. And, and that, again, is another big kill for Asus. And after an OK team fight, they're finding a couple of good pickoffs. Oh, and Illidan goes in mid, they're going to find another one. This is looking like a dead Spirit Breaker. You get the stun, Laguna, no mana for it, but I don't think they need it. Oh boy. 
kill after kill, pickoff after pickoff. Ace is polar. Uh... And what was Cedoy with the Lasso back off cooldown on the high ground? Maybe he can look to try and drag someone in. He's only got the backup of G at the moment. Lena still back at base. There's your TP in. And well, in fact, they found the axe. And Jonas and Fan, well, Requiem of Souls coming out straight away. They're going to be able to bring down the axe. Well, can the rest of NRP do anything? Yules onto the troll, holding him in place. The Illidan's been silenced up. There's a big silence. Nether strike from Hansken trying to finish off this Lena living armor. And Laguna Blade, can he turn it around? Is he going to be able to get the kill of the Spirit Breaker? Yes! Illidan's still alive. I think he goes down to this arcane bot. No errors there. Errors cleaning up on the back lines. And it is a two for two trade. Error once more, though, trying to find the ogre nature's guys on to fng he's going to be okay living armor is it going to be enough to save the ogre well nope there's the sentry pop down and it's a triple kill for error and again what looked like it might be an okay team fight for the side of asus uh, error comes in and he's eight for zero gods well they're trying to play it safe g backing up just farming up did go indeed for that s and y as you were suggesting so but oh here we go nip with the smoke who are they going to be able to catch out this time they're going to charge straight on to FNG. They know he's working on the Aghanims, and he's very close. He's only got to pick up that point booster. There's your nature's guys, but dust is popped by hands, Ken. Overgrowth comes out from FNG. In fact, Cedoy coming in, trying to turn this one around. There's Lil, there's G. There's your Requiem of Souls. He's going to blow up the Queen of Pain. Error comes in there with a BKB, and he wants to make sure that his team take this team fight, but can he do enough damage? They brought down the Lina. They're trying to bring down more, chasing down G now. Error gets the slow with the Axes, but his team, they've already lost the Queen of Pain, and they've lost the Spirit Breaker. Error diving very very deep for this shadow fiend kill and he is going to be able to find it just a godlike streak now for this troll but he's going to be giving it away i don't think he gets out of this one can he do anything amazing here wants to try and find fng he might just find it he does is he no he's not going to get out of this is he i think he might he's running away see nice coming in but he's got no mana axe is there jonas have with the berserker school why it's a triple kill for her he might even get more lil it's not it's an ultra kill gods what the hell is happening and error what a player is, this is just error in a nutshell <laughs> this is like him this is what, what? he does his I mean, team can be doing whatever they want and he just <sighs> well because it's just having the tree and ultimate ags up it's just going to be so annoying to play against and to push against that's that's just that's so accurate the game plan is end the game as soon as possible when you you see the sag step. If you ever lose a fight and get pushed out, suddenly there's eyes all across the map. If this game goes another 20 plus minutes, it's in NIP. It's in Aces Ball. Oh, that's a big overgrowth. Can they do anything off the back of it though? Error pops the BKB. He's ready to start killing people. They've lost an ogre. He wants to try and find Illidan, but the living armor keeping the Lena alive. And the G getting fairly low. Tried to bring down Hanskin on the Spirit Breaker, but Spirit Breaker's out of there. Dunk from Jonas and Fan is going to bring down the Shadow Fiend. And that's two heroes down on the side of Aces without buyback. Can Cedoy, Illidan, and FNG do anything on their own? Error. He's just manning up, hitting away at the tier three. He wants to take himself some towers. There's going to be a fiery dragon slave coming through, but it's not going to put off the troll at this point and every game in the position that they are in 15 to 25 31 minutes on the clock error still 12 kills seven assists and 1700 gold on top of the completed scardy now and still does have that agus in his pocket so he's not going to show any fear anytime soon spots out imagine he's telling his team we've got to keep on pressuring them though yeah, the pressure on the top lane. Lil is trying to stand and fight against Jonas and Fan. Can they cancel the TP? There's the bash from Hans Ken. That will cancel the TP indeed. And Hera. That was a surprising BKB kill. from Jonas, though. I don't think he needed to use that, but. No, does, yeah, there's a little bit of a panic on that. second BKB. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. He wanted to not get stunned up by the Ogre on the charges, but Queen of Pain, meanwhile, caught out in the Radiant Jungle. and. That's the kind of pickoff that won that last fight for Aces Polar. And IP now going to go back in with a charge. Catches out G as well as Sadoi. G in some trouble. Maybe the Yule Scepter going to negate that Nether Strike for the first time. And now here comes Era. The big bad troll warlord going to chop down your Shadow Fiend. And they, they want this high ground. They want to get this mid lane here. It's not the easiest thing to do. It's back to full HP. They're also charging FNG at bottom, man not going to be able to stop his TP. To finally going back in the way of NIP in the sense that they're going to be able to shut the game down. Era, you can have the Light Strike Array, but is they're going to have to commit to the push because every time they back off, we see the Living Armor has brought this tower that did go down previously to about half health all the way back up to full HP. Nera trying to lead the front, but there we go. Jonas and Fan with the blink, catching the Ogre, bringing him back into the team fight. That's a pick-off. That's the Ogre Magi down. 
for 55 seconds. And then at NRP, they can get back to the push. BKB popped by Cedar. He's gone in and he's found the quap. They burst down the Queen of Pain. And Hans Ken thinking about never striking, but he cancels it. Error. Error might go down, but he's got the Aegis. He's going to be ready for round two. It doesn't go down in the end. Hans Ken never striking in. Great space. Error's trying to man fire up with the Satanic. Build himself back up. And he is indeed going straight onto G. That is going to be G down. G does have buyback and he might need to think about using it. Ah, oh, Fire Dragon Slave is going to be able to catch Axe out on the back of it. And that is Axe down for 70 seconds. No buyback for the Axe on the side of NIP. Still two heroes down on Asus. Error standing his ground. Really wants to commit to get this tier three because he knows that if they don't get it with this push, they're not going to get it until, well, until a lot later because Triant, he's just going to start healing it back up and they're going to be back to square one. They've got to commit. That's the big thing is here. The Living Armor comes out. Just go onto that high ground and get rid of it if possible. They're going to keep on going. They get the sounds on the other end. The Sonic Wave, they're going to kill the, the Lina. Nice charge from Hanskin. He may pay for this with his life, but putting Lina on the sidelines possibly well worthwhile. And elsewhere, it's the Troll working on the rack. Satanic still available for Error. He may try and turn and fight, but the Aegis likely to pop. Nope, the Mantisar will save his life. Error. He's still alive and kicking for now. And charge. Gonna... No, not going to finish him off not with the bottle charges eric can just satanic off this neutral gets himself a couple a bit of hp and then overgrow tree and protector oh my gosh what a hero Indeed, and that's going to give the Triant a little bit more gold on his way to that refreshers which he's very very close to in fact does he have the recipe on the courier no he doesn't he's uh, just moving it out uh, yeah, he's picking up the gem. Okay, he's picking up the gem on the curry. Oh, look at this. Smoke up as well from Asus. They've realized that they found a couple of kills. They want to find more. Jonas and Fan can Lena and Batrider deal with him. They're going to give it a shot. He's fairly tanky, but BKB's pop. And uh, no, Jonas and Fan says, come at me, bro. He wants to try and turn this one around. Living Armor doing a fair bit for Lena. They're going to lasso up the axe. But here comes Limp. BKB pop straight away by the Batrider. Limp does have the ultimate straight onto Illidan. They go for the easier kill of the two. And that is Illidan down for 90 seconds. Buyback. He did expend it in that last fight and this is maybe the opening that NIP were looking for. Yeah. They gotta go, they gotta commit, they've got this Aegis for a minute and a half longer, they have to get mid lane of Rax and I think even a second lane, I think if this game keeps on dragging out, next next Roshan's gonna be some ways away, I don't know if that's, that's gonna give Aces Paul the time they need for a refresher on Trina and that's a huge item pickup for FNG. They have to get mid Rax at a bare minimum but I want to say they need a second lane as well with this push. There's the overgrowth again, forever holding back the side of NIP and being incredibly infuriating. Error, he's going to get back to work onto the racks though. And it looks like with just the four members on the side of Aces, other than the overgrowth, they can't really throw out too much to stop this. Error is going to help the yep. side of NIP clear out the mid racks. And here you guys, you said they want to try and get a couple of sets of racks. So they go straight to the top lane, keep the pressure on. Lena still down for 35 seconds. Era has still got that Aegis, of course, we're going to remember. Didn't lose it at all in that last fight and engagement. Cedar coming in, though. Oh, he's onto the troll. Blinking at the center for Jonasum. Getting stood up by the Fire Blast. They've managed to bring down the bat. This is big for NIP. Bat Rider down. Buys back straight away. G's going to get dunked. He buys backs as well. Two buybacks, but Era and Hanskin staying themselves onto the tower. Can Lil find anything? He's trying to look for the Fire Blast. Multicast. Ding, 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 ding. Jonasum fan blinking in, though. Crane space for Era so he can find the racks. Lil now taking damage from the troll. He's manning. Up. He's got the satanic. Error's got the satanic. He can pop it. Who's he going to pop it on? He needs to. No, he's got the Aegis. He's going to wait for round two. Hands can charging onto Lil. Lil trying to look for the fire blast to cancel the charge. Laguna Blade to the cow's face. Error. He's going to try and get out this one. He hasn't died yet. Is this going to be the first time we see this troll go down? Can the side of Aces chase this down? Seal Kid, he's left Error on his own. He says, mate, you're going to have to deal with this all by yourself. There's the overgrowth. Error. Can he pull this one out of the bag? He's got Jonas and Fan nearby, but it's not going to be near enough. Error is getting low and he will go down. That's going to be the first time we see the troll going down. Axe as well being chased down by Cedoy. NIP, they put the pressure on, but they end up paying for it as Axe will all the Yule Scepter, but it's just going to buy him a little bit of time, so Illidan can take the kill. They do get the melee reaction in the top lane, but I don't know, gods, they commit four heroes and they're, they're not winning the game yet. Yeah, they're not winning the game off awarding any of these Eyes of the Forest. This has just been a a purely just gem for detecting up the nature's guys. So Aces Paul will have 100% map vision and will do so for the rest of this game, it feels like. Oh man, they're putting on the pressure and they're going to try and go to the high ground here, try and take some racks for themselves. Axe and Queen of Pain both do not have buyback. Troll does, but he's back in 10 seconds. It might not be soon enough though that Azken gets dragged back like Guna Blade from Illidan. That's a kill. 
And trying to get the ding ding dings onto the Scarf, but Scarf force, forces himself away. But I think they lose a set of racks here. Spirit Breaker still down for 55 seconds. No buyback. In comes your troll. Error is ready to fight. And there's the blink in as well. He's picked up a blink, and that might just find him help find the big kills. A massive Berserker's call. This could be it though. NIP may be shutting Aces back down after what looked like a good comeback. Or no, FNG that with the refresher. Break. Look at the kills. He's picked off a couple of them. Buyback from Scarf Mage. Error trying to man up. Ogre looking for the dings. He's only going to find one this time. Scardy doing a lot of damage. There's a couple of dings. But with Limp and Seal Kid, the buyback from Scarf Mage. I don't know. NIP, they certainly seem to be struggling. They do manage to stop the push from Asus, but the game certainly isn't an, in as huge advantage as it was for them earlier on in the mid game. Yeah, and more, more eyes being popped. Three, so they can have a bit more uh, kind of free reign over the base of Asus. But with all these trees, it's, it's going to be so hard for them to push. As soon as the lane gets close, when the overgrowth comes out at this point, it should be able to catch a couple of ways. Well, here we go. Okay, they managed to remove a tree there, and they are starting to de deforest the jungle. Error? He just kind of stands there as Cedo comes in. I know he's got the Aegis, but that was a little bit ballsy. There goes the Aegis straight away. Hans Ken is going to be able to help find a kill on Shadow Fiend, and this is a Shadow Fiend that is down for 110 seconds. Lena goes down, but buys back. They will lose the Ogre as well. Ogre does not have buyback. FNG coming through, and this overgrowth is just destroying the side. Cedoy and FNG coming. Jonas Fan pops the cheese. He's going to be able to survive and fight back up. Era, the damage finally coming through. Three heroes now down on Aces. May Maybe this is it. NIP finally finding that little window to shut the game off. Illidan with the Ghost Scepter. He's going to be able to keep himself alive for a little bit. The Nature's guys working in his favor. Gets popped by the Berserker's Call. Living Armor as well. Tree and FNG trying to do as much as he can to keep his mate alive. But I think finally NIP might have just broken the base. A bit of, a bit of an odd choice over committing as much as they did just for the Troll Ages. Because they used everything. Lasso and Laguna. Those are their two big spells to defend the high ground with and using them both on a troll they didn't have the follow-up damage like they were maybe thinking they could win the ensuing fight with the refresher ags from the dream protector but era with manta and bkb has two ways to get out of overgrowth then well one last drop on fng the tree the ags refresher tree the first time i've seen it lose but it can be beat apparently certainly held the side of Asus in that match, but uh, it's just a little little too late and uh, in a situation where Asus was certainly on the back foot. And they